No expensive accessories, but the quality and tailoring of the clothes are superb. I can tell she's wealthy and isn't fond of extravagance. She has a tall and toned figure, so she's either of Eastern European descent or engages in outdoor activities all year round. Her face may be hidden away, but based on the skin of her neck, she's definitely still young. Good morning. You must be Mrs. Plinius. A reporter. Melly Plinius. Nice to meet you. Were you just at the greenhouse? Yes. The lord of this manor is growing some special plants, so I was conducting some initial observations. Oh. You study botany too? My husband was very skilled in that field, and I helped him with some of his research, so I've dabbled in it a little. May I ask why you came here? There's a unique species of bees nearby. I'm here to study them. You have my condolences. <sighs> Risk is always present in life. Just like it is in research, it is in the past. Are the special plants you mentioned earlier those ferns? Why are they growing here? It is quite unusual indeed. With the exception of a few plants like cornflowers, most ornamental plants prefer acidic soil. Those ferns are no exception. The Lord of the Manor prepared a type of artificial soil just to grow it. I've only ever seen that kind of soil owned by a family of aristocrats in the Mediterranean. Good morning, Mrs. Plinius. I didn't expect to see you here. Good morning, Mr. Orpheus. Mr. Butler, are there any plans for today? When will we get to meet the Lord? She couldn't take the pressure and took her own life. After all, there is always a price to pay for being unfaithful. Just like those insects, right, Mrs. Plinius? I didn't expect you to be so interested in etymology, Orpheus. However, insects are unlike humans. They do not betray easily because there is more than a single price to pay. Speaking of which, we have a Kreeberg with us too. I'm going to continue my research in the greenhouse. I'll see you both in the afternoon. I'm happy to see you awake. Mrs. Plinius said you fainted in the greenhouse. I carried you back here. I ran into Mrs. Plinius at the gate. It depends on whether the servants are telling the truth. In fact, I've been in the greenhouse all day, so I don't know if anyone has gone in or out of the main building. What about you, Mrs. Plinius? I agree. In order to show my sincerity, I will go first. My presence here is linked to my husband's death. I discovered that he hadn't recorded those bees in his observation notes. My husband was an extremely meticulous person, toward people and even more so toward his research. 
So there shouldn't have been an unrecorded species of bees in his apiary. And not too long ago, I received a bee specimen from this manor. And it was the exact rare bee species. He invited me to a game here. And in exchange, he would provide information on that bee species and the cause of my husband's death. Who's going next? Too many things have happened today. Miss needs some rest. And we can continue tomorrow.